All right, guys, now let's see how to work with the problem on the board. It says uh, a ray of light with the uh, wavelengths 6000 Armstrong in air incident at 50 degrees on a glass slab. The first thing we need to understand about solving a problem is to collect the data from the question and draw the diagram. Okay, this is part of solving techniques. So the first thing, I have a glass slab. So let's go with this. There's a glass slab here. And he says that a ray of light incident at 50 degrees here. That's it. And the wavelength of the light coming in is around 6000 Armstrong. Done. All right, what next? We know that as it is coming from air to the glass, it has to went towards the normal because this guy is a denser medium. Fine. That's the diagram. The next thing is what? He says the refractive index of this uh, medium is around 1.52. And that's what I have. The rest of it is the question. I mean, it means we need to calculate the wavelength of the light in the glass. It means what is lambda 2 here? So lambda 1 can be given as this. What is lambda 2? The second part of the question is find the frequency and the last part is the deviation. Okay, we'll come back to this later. Come back to this here. What is given to me? Given to me is simply lambda 1 is 6000 Armstrong and then I have uh, I is supposed to be 50 and uh, lambda 2 is to be found out and N of glass is 1.52. With this information given, we'll go back to the formula we know about this particular chapter and see which formula here is suitable okay now let's see in this case i have lambda 1 and lambda 2 and n I come back in here and see this guy involves sin i and sin r and n1 and n2 right and i have lambda 1 and lambda 2 this is what i'm interested in because i'm supposed to find the lambda 2 that is wavelength of light in glass so it means my formula is somewhere connected with this guy right so let me take this guy it says uh, it says uh, refractive index second medium with respect to first medium is given as lambda 1 by lambda 2 or this is n2 by n1 is lambda 1 by lambda 2 why should i do this formula only simply because in my question what is given to me is got information about lambda 1 lambda 2 is supposed to be found out and n1 is given to me or n2 is given to me and one is anyway one so i can see that n1 n2 is there and lambda 1 is there. the only missing link is lambda 2 so that's why I should choose this formula. Let's go. N2 lambda 2 is lambda 1 into N1. Substitute. And in fact, I need lambda 2 is N1 into lambda 1 by N2. Do I know all these three values from the given data? Yes. So lambda 2 would be nothing but N1. N1 is 1 into lambda 1 is 6000 Armstrong divided by N2 is 1.52. Right? So you got to take your calculators now and solve this. I have solved this value here already so that we don't have to waste time. So the value comes up to around 3947 Armstrong. That is 3947 Armstrong. That is uh, the first part of the question. So let's calculate the wavelength. Very simple. Why did I choose this formula only? The simple logic is in the question, these are the information given to me. And if I want lambda 2, I should have a, some relation which connects lambda 1, lambda 2, and that is 1. Right? By having the formulas is really important otherwise you would not know how to think about the problem so let's go ahead he talks about the frequency of light now do you know any relation which connects frequency and the speed or uh, and the wavelength of uh, the light so there is one which is v is equal to f lambda we learned this in sound also right where v is this uh, velocity f is the frequency and uh, lambda is a wavelength in light, we use something else. We use C is equal to F lambda or we use C is equal to nu into lambda. Okay. Now, where C says, uh, talks about the speed, nu is uh, frequency and lambda is wavelength. Now, from this, can I find out frequency? Frequency in the case, nu is what I'm looking for. So, I can use this formula here which says uh, nu is actually C by lambda. And C is a constant. What is C in fact? C is speed of light in vacuum or air we can take approximately right it is a constant which is given as let's say we write here C is always 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second which we know from our lower standards right so come back to this I know C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and lambda 1 would be uh, 6000 Armstrong and what is Armstrong exactly here I cannot substitute Armstrong here I need to write in terms of powers of 10 so I'll tell you what exactly is Armstrong. Armstrong is 10 power minus 10. As we know, centi is 10 power minus 2 
and milli is 10 to the power minus 3 like that I can say Armstrong is 10 to the power minus 10 so let me substitute here 10 to the power minus 10 okay what happens to this if I solve this here here's a calculation here if I solve this I'll just get a number which is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 14 use your calculators and solve this I would not waste time calculating here so have a calculator and a log with, it, with you so that you can calculate as I'm working okay what's the next thing I understand frequency is given as 5 into 10 to the power so much and hertz that's it what is the last part of the question it says uh, it talks about the deviation of the ray uh, as it enters the gas so here is the ray which was traveling straight since the class lab was in between this ray the ray had uh, deviated like this and this is what is called as angle of deviation this is your r and this is your i okay deviation means it was going like this and it is now deviated like this so i got to calculate d let me raise this for you in this case you can see that if i take this value i i is equal to r plus d we did this in the previous problem also right d here can be given as i minus r so now i need to know what is the value of r from the given data i know i so i know i is 50 but what is r i don't have the value of r so can i can i use given data again and one of these equations to find the value of r that's how we should think in solving numericals in physics so i can see that i and r is connected only with this guy so i need to go back to this next law that is sine i the sine r is refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium sine i is 50 degrees we know this and sine r as i'm looking for and n2 is refractive in index of the second medium that is 1.52 and n1 is the refractive index of the first medium it should be one because air be taken as one now cross modular the sine r can be given as sine 50 divided by 1.52 this is what i have calculate the value of sine 50 from log tables have a log table with you okay and i see that if at all i take sine 50 by 1.52 i get something like uh, 0 0.5040 this can do with your logbook and calculator now from here i can calculate r r is nothing but sine inverse of 0 0.5040 okay this is the value i need okay now if I check this in natural science again in logbook, I get this value that is 30 degrees and 16 minutes. Okay, this is what I have. Now, how I, how will I find the value D? The D is actually I minus R. I is 50. R is now 30 degrees and 16 minutes. Now, how do I subtract 16 minutes from this 50, 50 degrees? So what I do is I write 50 degrees as 49 minutes and 60 minutes because every single degree is made up of 60 minutes all right now from this i'll subtract minus 30 degrees and 16 minutes so if i calculate how much i get i get four i get four again and uh, nine and one so it is 19 degrees and 44 minutes would be the answer now do you understand what happens here is what all is given to you in the question right the given things and see which formula here that you know that your bihadr already connects to this information and choose that formula and what is the missing information try to substitute in this equation and find out that's it this is a very simple trick of solving numericals in physics okay we'll try to do more higher problems now and see how it works okay